Okay, I'm going to show you the uh, some numbers dealing with. Um, let me just go back. Let me start over and I'll, and I'll show you exactly what I'm going to do here. So this is a conversion table um, based on uh, zip code of 19809. This is the same, would pretty much the same in line with um, Philadelphia um, surrounding areas. All right, so this is a water tank. I'm going to go with propane first and um, a conventional tank. Typical tank uh, up to 50 gallons here, 49 gallons, whatever you would. This tank is larger house, has 30 to 49 gallons. We'll just do that. You do, you'll do your conversion, and I'll show you the difference by moving by 10 degrees. Um, and we'll say three people in the home, three people taking showers, and you can just use that as a neutral. I'm not going to add the dishwasher, and I'm not going to add the clothes washer. Some people wash their clothes predominantly in cold. And some people don't have a dishwasher, so I won't even throw that into the formula. You don't have to. You can figure that out on your own if how much you want to add to it. And it's roughly ten dollars anyway. All right. So if this was propane, conventional tank, the tank I just showed showed you, um, you would pay annually apples to apples. This is going to come out to apples to apples based on uh, the website, um, uh, the power company's website. All right. So this is 600 to $700 is what you would pay. Now, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm brain somewhere else. Now, if we switch to propane, is pretty much in line of electric. Electric is going to be cheaper. So um, here we're going to run that. So we're going to run electric. Electric is $350 to $440. Now, your natural gas is going to come out even cheaper. And natural gas is going to be two ten to two hundred sixty dollars. So gas does come out cheaper to heat than 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 electric. Now if you got oil, oil burns pretty hot. Um, but the cost of oil, et cetera, three hundred thirty to four hundred ten dollars. Now keep an eye on this. So what, what I'm going to do here? So we did electric, propane. Um, let's do electric. Let's make sure of that. All right. So there's your oil in line with your uh, oil in line with your propane and with your electric gas being the cheapest now if you're going to do it i'm sorry propane being the highest um gas being the cheapest so is it 200 plus dollars so there you have it. you've got your gas you've got your electric um you've got your propane that's at 440 right on electric propane's higher and your oil is in the middle there it comes out at above 340 and 410 so it's coming near um, um, hmm, 330 to 410. It's coming near the electric. Yeah, there's a 440. And of course, your gas being the cheapest. Uh, so if you if you want to save money, yeah, you can convert your electric to a gas. Um, well, gas is going to, you can see the significant change, significant difference. Now let's go ahead and bounce back here. I'm going to show you another option. And that's just regular standard setup. What we're going to go, what are we going to do now is we're going to say um, on demand systems. It's instant, instant systems. I'm going to calculate on demand. So, on demand with propane, you're going to pay 520. So, it really doesn't work out, does it? Um, here's oil. Well, I'm sorry, you can't do on demand with oil. So, here's your electric on demand. Um, electric on demand is 280 to 350 and here we go with gas. Gas is going to be your cheapest again. Gas is going to come down to 200 bucks, I think it is max, $200. So as we saw with electric, um, it was at uh, 260 So you're going to save $60 a year if you... Uh, if you go with uh, just regular pro, uh, regular gas without on demand. All right, so let's go backwards. Let's do that again. So you see $200, gas being the cheapest on demand system you can have. And when I bounce back to conventional tank, um, electric, and we calculate. We calculate it's coming up. I use this temperature here. Um, we have electric at the three hundred fifty, um, three hundred fifty dollars. That is um, three hundred fifty on the on the low end, four forty on the high end. 
350 was the max on the uh, on the uh, on demand system. So it is potential. So if you were using 440 here, you possibly be using 350. So it's $90 saving to do the on demand tank per year. So you got to figure out the cost of the tank. Um, now propane is. Let's see. This is a regular system. So propane is going to come out at. Um, again, propane is going to come out at six, pretty high, six to seven hundred dollars. Um, so that's a significant amount. Oil, electric, and again, the cheapest one here is if you're going to go, if you're going to do it, you're going to go with gas. You're down to two ten, two hundred sixty bucks. You're down to almost on demand system, down here. Now, take note again, gas is 210 to 260. 260 is the max. On an on-demand system, the max is $200, $60 difference. Um, so on-demand, it's pretty pretty close. Now I'm going to show you um, one more thing here. Let's see if I can get you. I can't get it to you. Hold on. Let me see if I can do this. Savings tips. Let's do that. All right. So I'm going to slide this over so you can read it. Great, won't be able to get it in there, so I'm going to do it with you. Um, 10, deg 10 degrees, I'll slide it, 10 degrees in temperature equals about a 13% of water heating cost. So if you can lower it by 10 degrees, you'll uh, save that much. Um, and they're saying it's $30 if you heat, if uh, this amounts to $30 if you heat water with gas or $60 with electric. Um, a temperature settings of 120 degrees is fine, unless you're dishwasher um, doesn't have the booster heater okay so keep that in mind I wanted you to know that that you can go even lower save even more if you got if you bought a, a dishwasher with a booster heater on it um, and you got the electrical cost that was going to come up but it's only while the dishwasher is on so this would still be cost effective um, all right insulate your water to, you know if it's in a cold place you're going to you're going to get some value at it insulating the uh, the water heater and also the pipes. Um, um, so if you have a gas water heater, fifty dollars. They're putting a blanket on it. It's an insulation blanket. It's really they really do help. Um, here's the water lines next. Um, so they do sell, sell some insulation around there. Again, if the pipe is a, uh, it will help transferring the heat. You know, pretty pretty greatly. Um, of course, don't let water run. This is savings. Uh, dripping faucets. You know, you're going to save water on that. Your shower head, it's going to use your, your lower your lower consumption head um, and water softeners. And the water softeners uh, changes to how the water heater would heat in general. So there are your tips. There are your tips, and I hope you enjoyed that. hope you enjoyed that. And that was the uh, home analysis for hot water heating. Now, I've got also one for... Uh, a electric stove, a, uh, a dryer also, but this will show you the water heater that if people are wondering, you know, what's what's the difference? The gas is 210, oil burns hotter, but the uh, this is for a water heater and the uh, and ultimately they, they determined the cost is going to be significant over 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 that. All right, there you go. Remember gas. Um, it's going to be your cheapest. Then you, your electric, if you got electric, that's great. You don't have to worry about flue gases. That's the thing about um, electric. You don't, there's no flue gases to put off uh, CO2. CO2. Um, carbon CO2. Here's your, your CO2 right there. We switch to electric. What does it change? What does it say? I wonder how they do the conversion on CO2 as far as, well, I guess they're saying it's still putting off the same. Based on, um, hmm, I'm guessing it's going to be based on the power plant having to make uh, <laughs> to make the product. They they neutral it out though. They call it the same as gas. Interesting. Uh, no, no, they didn't. There, there's the up for a dated version. Significantly, <laughs> significant. Um, 2,300 pounds. Uh, and here we go again. Back to electric. Wow, amazing. So if you're in the green, if you're green, you would go for electric and pay the difference to offset some carbon dioxide. And propane, how does propane do? It's natural. It's up there pretty high. And our buddies at oil, how are they doing with CO2? Yeah, they actually went down lower than uh, they're burning more than the uh, propane. Um,
So there we have it. Hope this was helpful. Please look at the video again.